still chasing. There we are, the frame rate's picked up again because we've killed so many of them, man. These guys really going to try and flank my guys. No, I thought not. What a freaking mess of a battle. What I'm going to do is carry on with what I said before. Fall back to my original town. The original city. Gather my forces and strength. And then proceed with a full invasion of their province. And there they are. They're all in flight. Bunch of... I don't know, like, they, they started on me, and they're running away, when they outnumbered us four to one. My guy's just doing more experience, that's all. Just brilliant. Especially when we go and wipe their freaking shitty little city off the map. Let's fast forward it to see if they are running away completely. Yeah, by the look, yeah, they're running away completely. I think... I don't... I don't know. Let's have a look. Will the battle be over now? Come on, hurry up. Hurry up, you bastards. There's one unit. Are they still determined to fight or something? Nope, they're running. Walking even. Still retreating, like. Should have chased them down with cavalry. Come on, get going, you bastards. That was an epic battle, I must admit. That cavalry charge right into the backs of their infantry was beautiful. There we are. The enemy army runs now. End battle. The enemy are crushed like victory. beetles beneath your heel. This is a stunning victory. Holy shit! That guy sounded like he was gonna have a fucking hernia. Right, one, three, three, six men remaining. I wish that was one more man remaining. That would be so cool. A man does not strike. If a man does not strike first, he will be the first one to be struck. Hmm. Victory! Generally makes sense, I guess. Yeah, they're still... Yes. I thought they might not be occupying there anymore, but they are. So, I think what we're going to do is just gather our strength as these settlements, and then proceed with an attack. Oh, plus two command, because we won again. Repair complete, where are Nice. Nice. Rec armies being rallied all across the continent. That's cool. We've got a Saxon fleet there. Wait a minute. If history says... They're going to attack us. They've got units on board. If I don't take out that navy, it'll take out us. So I have to declare war on the Saxons now. Joy. Yay, I killed their fleet. Everyone knows that the Saxons invaded Britain. So, well... Some people say that they just immigrated and over time. And there's another invasion force in the north. Have we got another navy? Ready to sail. Kill them. Nice. Thank God for that. We the like. Sea is ours. We just, just flipping neck. That was like a baseball swing. You know, uh, like when the ball comes at you. They were the ball, we were the bat. 
and we just parted two of them at the same time. That was beautiful. Right, um, let's retrain everything we can here. Let's get our guys ready for the fight. We want to recruit Scotty Chariots were shite last time, but the Noble Clansmen kicked us, so I think we're going to use them. Uh, we want to get a firing range. Yeah, they're on the way. That's good. So that's been built. Medium tax rate, what will that do? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't think so. Uh, let's recruit some old men here. I don't like how exposed this place is. Let's get some more spearmen. Recruitment here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, just getting these guys again. I would like to be able to build more than just flipping... Spearman, so let's get a hundred hall of heroes and a tavern doesn't offer anymore, so that's kind of shit. Upgrades light weapons, let's do that. It's worth the investment, I guess. Save again. Uh, let's see what we can upgrade here farm wise. So glad I spotted those uh, those um, Saxons on the offshore because that would have caused some havoc. Otherwise, nothing really to upgrade there, to be honest. Nothing profitable. I mean, anyway. There wasn't a market there, was there? No. Right, so... Public order. Yeah, let's get High King's Hall, because we need to keep our homeland secure, because if, God forbid, we lose territory, we need to be able to take it back immediately. So, it'd be good if we could upgrade this place to support an army. So, let's, yeah, let's get a great market. Yep, that's brilliant. And we've got berserkers there. Uh, flipping heck, I wish we'd have had berserkers on that front line then. That would have looked so epic. They'd, you'd just see peasants flying everywhere because the berserkers are like... Seven foot tall monsters. Can't wait to show you. Uh, end of turn report. We made lost six. Hey, up, oh, child. Nice, we got son. Watch him have like a full beard and everything because of the automated thing. He'll have like a beard <laughs> when he's like 12. Well, they do on Shogun again. I refer to Shogun. Um, yeah, you'll have like a 14-year-old faction heir to the throne or something, and he'll have like a full goatee and everything. Like, he looks like he's 50, and he's actually 15. It's quite funny. Yes! Uh, those knights of... Growl knights aren't going to come back, are they? I think what we want to get now is this. Because as I said, I'm going to burn that city to the ground. And they'll be sorry. Had some pretty epic battles so far though, to be honest. Taking it chill. Hey, there's the Saxon land. Saxon watch Watchtower. Let's send... You just wait a minute. Boats ready. Yeah, they were definitely going to attack, ready. weren't they? Aye, aye, Captain. Definitely, it was it was right of me to declare war on them. 
Because you don't just have two armies offshore. And like... Yeah. They were definitely going to attack. I'm sure they were. So what have we got? One turn left for this. And this does... Slingers and Kerns. Have we got anywhere with the crossbowmen yet? Yes! Look at that. Pick this crossbowman. What's their range? Uh, it doesn't say. But they've got a good missile attack. They're better than most archers that do three damage. They do seven, is it? Seven, yeah. Melee attack, six. Total defense, nine. So they're better than the average archer. So if we can get these guys against Roman archers, they'll just level the playing field. Right, so we want to get a group of these because if this settlement gets attacked, uh, we're going to need people on the walls to defend. Not to mention it will be badass to just use crossbowmen. It's like badass. Why isn't anyone got practicing ranges set up? It's balls that I have to keep waiting to use them. Meeting hall. Yeah, I could do that. Or we could do something that increases tradable goods. There we are. Market again. Communal farming. That's good. Okay, let's end turn on that again. Actually, as I said to war so we need an army and turn and we shall see how much we have okay we're making six grand every turn that's pretty damn good yes the Celts aren't going to be pushed around anymore Look at that. Chuffed, no? That's chuffed. That's really cool that they've got them. Let's get a market, land clearance. There we are. And we want to get a... Where's this again? Oh yeah, let's get a blacksmith in the queue. Let's recruit some more gallo glasses. Because I just want to cut down all them peasants. Saxons are making a move. Time to end the bloodshed. I'll make a counter proposal. Okay, he accepts. Good, but if I see a navy offshore, I'll destroy them. I swear to God. If they bring a navy anywhere near my island, I'll wipe them off the map. Alright, so the profits are slowing down now that we've got a huge army on the way. What I'm thinking of doing here is moving out Orders. some of these guys yes. to the front yes. line. Yes. Wait a minute. They've got half a garrison. Orders. General. General. Orders. Don't know why that was glitched out, but it was, so. Um, got an extremely packed army here. Um, what do we, I suppose we could sell these dudes, because they're not going to be doing much anymore. They are really good, though. 
But my noble clansmen are better and they've got more. 